final day of the Democratic Action Party or DAP's National Congress took place today. As expected, many previous committee members managed to retain their seats in the 20th Central Executive Committee. What was not expected and took many party members by surprise as well was the appointment of Tunku Abdul Aziz Ibrahim as the party's vice chairman. The former vice chairman of Transparency International Board of Directors had just joined the DAP 24 hours before. The announcement of Tunku Abdul Aziz's appointment as party member and vice chairman was made by DAP Secretary General Lim Guan Eng. The announcement took many attending the Congress by surprise and was greeted with a few claps by DAP members on the floor. The ex-group director of Saim Darby later explained that although he had joined the DAP just 24 hours before, it was not a hasty decision. I have been targeting the DAP without their knowledge for the last 20 years. And I've shared uh, the platform with them on numerous occasions. Well, I am a brand new member. You know, the, the decision taken was a long time ago, but the actual signing of the form was taken yesterday. Tunku Aziz's fast-track recruitment into the party and post seemed well received. No resistance at all. Uh, uh, Actually, everyone is very happy to uh, uh, greet Tunku Aziz to, to come into the DAP and, uh, and we also, I should say that we have uh, unanimously in our meeting agreed that you know, uh, Tunku Aziz to be the vice chair of the party. Meanwhile, the latest lineup in DAP's Central Executive Committee didn't see any big changes on the top. Karpal Singh still holds the chairmanship with Dr. Tan Seng Giao as his deputy and Lim Guan Eng as the party secretary general. Sapute MP Teresa Kok has moved up to the vice chairman position and the publicity secretary post she vacated is now filled by newcomer Tony Poir.